Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dino Chicken Nugs here, and today I want to talk about Defender Utility. I know it's been a while since my last video uh, on utility and like how to get better and improve at this game, but I want to get Defender Utility out of the way. So, you know, there's a lot of different Defender Utility. I'm mainly not, I'm not talking about like the special, each operator like, like Smokes, like Smokes Gas Canisters or Ella's uh, Gersma Mines. I'm talking about deployables, barbed wire, bulletproof cams, uh, nitros, impacts, all that stuff, right? So, first example I want to give you is deployable. And I'm on the map border, and this is the lockers, um, the lockers site, right? When you're holding this site, most, if you're going to play smoke on this site, most people will place... I, I normally see a deployable here just like that which it's almost it's almost right like that is a really good deployable placement but if you were just to slightly angle it and back a little bit you would have so much of a better better time here actually I didn't set that up properly oh, my bad my bad <laughs> If you set it up like this, right? As a smoke player, you want you kind of want these little like like pixels in between, like these little gaps, right? Because from this angle, now you can sit deep back here, and that's only assuming you have this reinforced right here because players will shoot you from this this doorway. It's it's a perfect line of sight to to shoot someone camping out right here. So a smoke player, if they have their deployable here, they can, you know, hop up and throw their smoke out main right right here if someone's pushing in. If they open main, then then it could be, you know, for that. So you're just gonna throw your smoke over the shield and blow it on main and then cancel them out for a little bit. Whatever the timing is at, right? Deployables, when I see them used. I normally just see them in like useless spots. I see people put deployables like back here. This has never helped anybody. You can't, you can't even get past here, right? You can only sit right there, and it, it doesn't. It actually st like hurts you when you're trying to hold down a site, right? You can't, you can't move into it, you know. You can only get from it this side, but that's fully exposed to that, right? You want to put it in a spot that will help you as a defender, but it will not hurt you as a defender. That's why this spot is so strong, because the only time this can hurt you as a defender is if attackers take main wall and they push over this. Now they have an extra bit of cover, but as you see the way I placed it, the bomb's already enough cover for them. They have to fully extend. It's in line with bomb, right? So, unless you have a player right here trying to take take on this gunfight, as an as like if you're an attacker, you're fully exposed by the time you're thing. So the shield doesn't hinder you. That's why you want to place it a little bit back and a little bit forward. If you were here and the shield was was there and they planted bomb, now you have to get past this shield as a defender you have to you have to check that you have to you have to get forward until you get to find the bomb right so if you place it like this you can use this to your ability again you're not this doesn't become a hindrance if it's flat up with this you're pushing up with absolutely no cover like let me move it here there is zero cover when it comes to this look Pushing up, you have this, and this will hurt you that little bit, because now that's the amount of cover you have, and you're already not you're not even close to where the bomb normally would be planted, right? So you want to think of how to place these where it'll help you and not hurt you. Um, next, I want to talk about barbed wire. So, all right, now for barbed wire. Uh, I chose it on Bandit. Um, I don't normally run barbed wire on Bandit. I would run Nitro because he can use that to you know, take a pick. But what you'll see when people run barbed wire on... I'm going to use this site because this is where I 
personally use a lot of barbed wire, I will use a Rooney and I'll open this up and, you know, open it. What I commonly see players do is they throw barbed wire somewhere in a location like this, right? So if this was the sites, right, if we're in customs inspections and this is where someone places the barbed wire, this does absolutely nothing because this doesn't slow down any player when it's actually needed. If a player wants to get rid of this, they'll run up and punch it from here. They'll one, you know, two, and then run and swing, right? And you're, you're gonna get killed. A better and stronger position to place this barbed wire is right here. Or a little bit, a little bit closer this way. Because now, what a player has to do is if, if these walls are reinforced or they can't get through these way, this way, and someone wants to push this way, they have to get rid of utility to get this, right? But if you utilize utility, right, and say they swung here and they finally they finally got to here, and now they want to get through, they either have to walk right through it into sight, and they'll get stuck right here, and someone can swing from, I don't know, from detention door or from behind the metal detector. You can swing from a lot of places. You can have someone playing vertical, because a lot of people play vertical on this site. But you want to place it in a spot where, yet again, where it helps you as a defender and not hinders you. Right, so you don't want to be a defender placing barbed wire like here when you're going to try and keep main wall open, right? You don't want to, it's not going to do anything for you, right? Or you don't want to throw your barbed wire in an open hallway like this, you know? And thinking that this is gonna stop anybody. It's not gonna do anything. They can easily take this out with, you know, a couple couple melees, right? So also if you're placing your barbed wire close to one another, you really wanna you really don't wanna do that. Because if you place it right next to each other, so if yeah, let's go back to over here. If you place it like this, right? If you were an attacker, and you were an Ash, or a Zoe, you could shoot right in the center and take out both of these with one utility. As a d defender, you want to get rid of all attacker utility, or kill them before they get the chance to use it, right? You want to waste time. You, it's not about the kill, it's about the time. And as if you're picking barbed wire, you're really focused on time and how to get get rid of those, right? So next, I want to talk about nitros and impacts. All right, now I want to talk about nitros and impacts and bulletproof cams. Okay, for nitros, you really want to see operators that you'll see with nitros and impacts, impacts especially. Operators like uh, Vigil or Cav, you don't want them doing this, but you always want to rotate in this side, right here, right? But with someone like Cav or uh, Vigil, they want to use their impacts to get kills, not not to help the site, unless necessary, right? So if you're Cav or you're Vigil and you're fighting someone in Tellers over here, and you're shooting them from this window, what I like to do is I like to take a nitro and like, or a nitro impact and pitch it at one of these three panels. So then they'll look there. I'll come over here and while they're looking there, you go one, two, take them out or whatever, right? You want to use your impacts to get kills as vigil or cav or any roamer off site. If you're in sight, you want to use it to make rotates and strong points, right? And with nitros, see, I'm going to open this up. Normally you'll have this top row shot shot it out as a as a defender, right? And you want to use your nitros to get kills, of course. So you'll see people, you know, pitch a nitro when someone vaults in, you know, and get a quick little pick, right? You want to utilize the spots in the in the throw of a nitro, as well as as well as you know impacts you want to distract them and then take the take the pick and then for then for i'm gonna use bulletproof cams without cams i'm gonna show them um obviously this is not how bulletproof cams work but you want to place bulletproof cams 
I never say I never think they're a good option, but if you decide to use them, I think the best sites are gonna be in like consulate not consulate, um chalet on bottom site, garage site. Because it's the strongest because that's where people use smoke. But you wanna use it where it's a stagnant one place where you need a line of sight. If someone's gonna push this doorway, you have, you know, a bulletproof that only looks here. Obviously, bulletproofs can't move, so it'd be just stagnant like that. All right, so you wanna place them in lines of sight where it can it can always help you, but you don't you don't wanna like distract. So, you know, maybe maybe you wanna place it here just so you can see one this way. I don't know if it'll see this far over, but you know, whatever the case is, you can place it wherever you want and you can see a line of sight. This side would probably be better because now you can see this and that. Okay, so, and while I'm at it, I'm just gonna say proxies. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter where you you place proxies it's, it's all kind of personal preference um me personally if i was playing proxies some of the proxies on this site i would throw a proxy right there and the reason probably a little higher but the reason for that is when most people when this is opened you'll see attackers running really fast in here right and then they'll they'll take a spot up here and watch your rotate right so you're gonna have this rotated but they'll, they'll just sit here and watch you rotate and most teams will reinforce this fully i don't recommend that but they'll sit here so when this proxy goes off you hear the beep, 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 right right when that goes off you know as a defender that an attacker has made a play into sight or trying to get into sight here most of the time they're not going here because if they're coming this way from main they're exposing themselves to way too much at once uh, a normal attacker will just go through de detention, right? So proxies are here to help you identify a kill or where they are going as attackers. So I place it somewhere there or somewhere on backside where you know they're starting to get close. So like tuck one, tuck one in here maybe. Like you know that'll. I don't know the range. I think the range will go up to like there, but no one's vaulting this, so you're okay. But. You know, when you hear the proxy here, you know someone's making a move on a workshop. So now as a defender, in sight you, you hear, say you're, say you're just watching this, right? You hear the proxy to the left, you go, oh, someone's swinging up. So now I can reposition myself into a stronger position to take on these, these attackers, right? So all utility is is to, to help you, help you shift your play into taking a couple a couple picks or burning time only to help you like you you really want to I, I really want to preference that preference that it's it's to help you if you place your utility in the wrong spot it can really hinder your round and hurt whatever you have going on right so all right i want to thank everybody for watching up to this point in the video um if you're interested in more content, I post every Monday and Thursday at 1 p.m. PST. I also try to stream every Tuesday and Thursday um, if I get to it, and it should go around from like 8 to 10, and if more people join, it can go later, but I'd love to see anyone who's watching this video there. That would be awesome. Uh, and yet again, thank you for watching.